So I thought this would be a good time to go over what we're actually doing here. I'm overhauling an Edwards RV5 vacuum pump. It was running in an MPMS, a magnetic property measurement system, for about 20 years without being properly serviced. The shaft seals were totally gone and that caused the pump to leak intermittently and it was intermittent because the oil had caked on so much to a Tootsie Roll-like consistency that it would seal itself every once in a while. So. It would leak and then seal itself and then leak and then seal itself and we really didn't know what was going on until I took it apart. So we got we bought an overhaul kit. I just finished replacing all of the O-rings in this module which has the gas ballast and the inlet valve um, assembly among other things. And I definitely put these panels on too early. I'm gonna have to take those off in order to actually get the pump reassembled. Uh, the last part of the video was me putting in the shaft seals into this bore into, into this bore with an arbor press and a metal cylinder that I found that was really, really close to the OD, the outside diameter of these shaft seals. If you're gonna do this yourself, I would recommend actually measuring the outside diameter of the shaft seals and then lathing a special um, metal cylinder to that outside diameter because these shaft seals have a metal ring on the outside but then everything else is rubber. So if you need to press on the outer ring, otherwise the whole thing um, could break and then this whole overhaul would be useless. I've heard that you can actually buy this piece, the shaft seal carrier, with the shaft seal already installed. I'd recommend doing that if you don't have an arbor press or a stock room with enough, with a variety of metal cylinder sizes or a lathe that, or if you don't know how to lathe something that will fit this exactly, okay? Because the problem is you don't, you don't just need a flat surface, you need something that can sink in the shaft seal into the into this board here. Okay, so with the shaft seals installed, um, I think that's, the that's probably the hardest part. We can probably get this back together tonight. Um, I'm gonna start the time lapse again and we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we got this guy back together. I'm about to put this other panel on once I bolt it down to the base. The little problem I had there at the beginning was that I was putting an O-ring that didn't need to be there. Um, the manual was referencing an O-ring that was already inside the shaft seal 
sleeve, which actually you don't remove, so you don't replace it. So everything should fit perfectly without forcing anything. Uh, just make sure you do that. I think there was an extra O-ring in my kit. We'll see if that's actually true. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna bolt this to the base and then we should be able to hook up this motor to it and then bolt on the, um, the oil reservoir and I think we should be done. And there we go, Edwards RV5, all overhauled and ready to go. Again, I did say there was one spare O-ring in the overhaul kit. Hopefully I didn't actually mess anything up, but I think it's a spare. And uh, the Arbor Press aside, you only really need two Allen keys to put the thing back together. Um, that's a 5 mil and a 3 mil. And I would recommend using your nice Allen keys for the assembly. For the disassembly, which can get kind of tough, you end up breaking a lot of Allen keys to see how these are all bent out of shape, but these are from Harbor Freight, so it doesn't really matter. They're probably 10 cents each. I'm gonna fill it up with oil tomorrow morning and give it a spin. Hopefully it works better than it used to. And I hope you like this overhaul video. If you like them, maybe we'll make some more in the future. I'm not sure what will break, but there will be things that will break and I'll be here for the next five years, so I'll be ready to fix them. Anyway, it's been Raheem for the Taufur Lab, signing out.